We live in a world dominated by social media and staying connected. But it's important to spend time with people. You get to learn so much from others and some of our most joyful moments come from relationships. But spending too much time with people can also be a bad thing. Our mobile devices make us think we need to be connected all the time. All that noise and clutter can really take its toll and ironically leave you feeling a bit lonely. But that's not what this video is about. Being alone and being lonely are two different things. While the former may be voluntary, the latter probably isn't. You may feel lonely in a room full of people. You may even feel lonely among friends or family. Loneliness doesn't necessarily mean being without people. It can, but not always. Practicing solitude could reduce your feelings of loneliness. It may take some time, but you'll start to feel more comfortable being by yourself. Combating the feeling of being lonely isn't the only reason you should practice being alone. There's plenty of other benefits as well. For starters, I learned so much about myself by spending time alone. Sometimes it was more enjoyable to take a walk in the park by myself than hang out with a couple of friends. Both things are important, yes. You shouldn't neglect your friends, but what's more important is you shouldn't neglect yourself either. Being free from social obligations for a while gives us the time for spiritual growth. You'll have more time to explore your values and goals without interference or distractions. According to a study in the Journal for the Theory of Social Behavior, people who set aside some time to be alone tend to be happier in life. They're said to have better life satisfaction and lower stress levels. Being alone really opens your mind about yourself and who you really are deep down. And getting to know who you are and your core values can also help you enhance the quality of your relationships as well. You're more likely to make wiser choices about who you want to be around and you may even start to appreciate some of the people in your life a little bit more now that you're more connected with your mental state. There's a reason artists, musicians, and writers like their privacy when creating their masterpieces. Studies even show that being alone can improve your creativity, which leads to an increase in productivity. And I would agree based on my own personal experiences. Look at being alone and figuring out who you are as building the foundation where everything else is built upon. I got in touch with an old friend recently who always used to be around people all the time due to his job. He called himself a people's person, but he wasn't exactly happy when he was alone. He had all these negative thoughts which he couldn't control. Circumstances forced him to change his job and move to a different state. Now he's a different person entirely. He admits that life may have forced him to be alone for some time, but it's been the best thing that's happened to him. He was able to find his inner calling, and his love for his wife and kids are now stronger than ever. When you're always around other people's influence and presence, you tend to kind of forget your own. You may feel like you know the world, but as soon as life forces you to disconnect even for a minute, you may feel trapped in your own mind. There's nothing wrong with spending time with family and friends. There's nothing wrong with checking social media either. Just don't do it at the expense of yourself. Don't try to understand everything around you without first understanding what's within you.